Um, hey guys, I hope you're well. And um, so today I'm gonna be looking at uh, graph theory and using Maple. Yeah. So um, on a side note, um, I'd really appreciate it if you guys actually subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, um, hit the subscribe button, share the videos with your friends, and so forth. Okay, cool. So let's get started. So I need to import um, my package. I'll call it uh, with then graph theory. Right. If I put then if I put a column, um, it doesn't show you all the options available. But if I remove it, then it shows you all the options that uh, you can use. Okay. Cool. So uh, it, it doesn't matter anyway. It's just a uh, personal choice. I don't like to. I don't like to have all the options. Um, in view view. All right. Okay, cool. So yeah, so let's get started. So I'm gonna uh, plot a graph. So I'm just gonna call it V30. And uh, that's my complete graph. So that will have um, 30 uh, uh, vertices. And 435 edges. Okay, cool. So I'm going to type the edges as well. So those are all my edges of that um, the graph. Okay, and then I want to draw that graph. So I'll type in draw that graph uh, v30. Okay, so it's evaluating it at the bottom. So here we are. That's my nice little um, V30 graph. Okay, and then if I want to check uh, if it's um, if it's planar, so I'll type in is planar. Actually, hold on. Let me see. Um, let me type this first. A graph. Um, is planar um, if it can be drawn on a, on a flat surface and its edges don't do not cross each other right Cool. So it's planar. Uh, v30. And that's false. Because you can clearly see that um, all these edges are crossing each other anyway. So that's, uh, that's false. Okay, cool. And then um, I want to find out if it's bipartite. Uh, bipartite, sorry. Yeah, uh, that's false. Okay, and then um, I can also like um, change, um, uh, let's say vertex uh, vertex names. So let's say for vertex names, sorry. Uh, say for instance, if I've got a graph, let's say uh, I'll call it Z, capital Z, complete graph. Right, and uh, draw graph. Right, so it will just um, use default uh, default names like you know so one two three four five, but then I can also change that to use um, names that I want. So say for instance I'll call it uh, X, and then complete graph. Then I'll, I'll just use colors so blue, um, red green, black, and uh, white, and then uh, so draw graph, right, so there you go, 
So you can also change the names as well. Okay, right. And then uh, I want to show you something uh, in regards to the adjacency matrix. So uh, McGrath Z. Okay, so what this is basically saying is, um, say for example, uh, a node, uh, node four, connects to five, one, two, and three, right? So that's four. So it connects to one, two, three, and it doesn't connect to itself, and then it connects to five. That's what that's all that's um, that's what the adjacency matrix um, is just saying. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, so this is just um, a quick. Uh, graph uh, theory intro uh, but I'll do more complicated stuff in the next video so okay cool so thanks for watching and um, hope you have a lovely Friday thank you bye bye